Okay, welcome to another Triple J video. Today we're going to be repasting this MSI 3060. It's a Ventus three times. Um, this particular card doesn't really need it, but we're here to please the masses. Before we begin, I should uh, warn you that this sticker means your warranty is still intact. Don't undo this unless you really, really know what you're doing. Um, once again, we're going to start with these four screws. And I believe there's one other screw down here. There's not many screws to this card. So Start it with too big of a Phillips here. I have a fancy new mat now, so I can uh, separate these screws. Hopefully I have enough thermal paste. We haven't tested it yet. <laughs> I believe it should pretty much come apart now, I think, but I'm not. I believe there's two screws on your left hand side. Yeah, I see them. I'm just not entirely sure if they have to come out or not. The biggest key to success with graphics cards is taking as few screws as possible out. Magnetic screwdriver bits are also very important. <laughs> wow, those thermal pads are very sticky. All right, so on this side. We've got two clips, and every clip is different on every manufacturer. And I believe these two pull straight out. You gotta be gentle with them too, because you can really hurt them if you don't. Go gently. There's one. And it looks like they color coded them for us very nicely here. So there we go. We've got the heat sink, which I have to say is a very nice heat sink for this card. The fans. Here we've got the card. It's you, little guy. Yes, it is. All right, so let's get to work. You're gonna need your Q-tips and your isopropyl alcohol. We'll get to work scrubbing this thing. It is a little bit stiff, but not anything that I would worry about.
Should we play elevator music here? <laughs> yes. And make sure that you wait long enough for the icy purple alcohol to fully dry before you add your new thermal paste so you don't mess it up. There you go, shiny new thing. I'll bring it up to the camera here so you can see it. Pretty good here. Now we'll grab our new thermal paste. This is deep cool thermal paste. I can't say whether it's exceptional or not, but we're going to be using it on this car. Let's put a little small dab in the middle. Normally I recommend spreading this out, but this one didn't come with a spreader. So we're just going to mash it back on there after we clean off the heat sink. It looks like they had some sort of pre-done cube of thermal paste because it's a perfect square. One doesn't want to come clean near as well as some of the other ones we've used. You can tell the difference between nickel and aluminum for sure. The nickel plated ones definitely come a lot cleaner than the aluminum and copper ones. As you can see, we've got our two little cables plugged in. Remember the white one goes on the white one and the black one goes on the black one. So we're going to flip this over here. We're going to line it up with the screws. Make sure it's down tight. Remember to work it in a star pattern too. Remember we took a total of six screws off today. So six screws go back. <laughs> Four spring screws and two smaller screws over here on the side. I wouldn't torque these screws down too hard because this is mostly plastic. I 
That is our thermal basing video done. It's all lined up. All the thermal pads look good under there. There you go. MSI 3060. Three times vent is repasted. If you like, if you liked and enjoyed this video, um, make sure you subscribe. If you want to see more, we're having a 1080 Ti repasting video on the way. Thank you. Have a nice day.